Hello, my name is Dr. Nathan Way. I'm a board certified rheumatologist with more than 30 years of clinical research and practice experience. If you're thinking you'll eventually have to get a knee replacement for arthritis, I have good news for you. While more than 700,000 knee replacement surgeries were performed in the United States in 2012, I predict within the next 10 years that number will be slashed in half. How? The answer coming up next. The field of regenerative medicine has exploded with so many practitioners touting their procedure as a quote-unquote cure for arthritis. It isn't as easy as that. If it were, nobody would need joint replacement surgery. The fact is that stem cells can rebuild osteoarthritic cartilage. So what are stem cells? Well, they're essentially blank slate cells that can be coaxed into becoming any kind of body tissue, and we all have them. However, the process used is a key to long-term results. It isn't as simple as just injecting stem cells into joints. Every scientist involved in stem cell research agrees that there are certain components needed for an effective procedure. First, obviously, a sufficient number of stem cells. What that number appears to be is about five million. Now, there are centers that culture cells and other centers that inject tens of millions of cells. These are usually allogeneic cells. The term allogeneic means someone else's stem cells, a donor. So what's the data? that using more than five to six million stem cells is more effective in cartilage growth. The next slide will show you the data. That's right, there is no data. The second and next important factor is a matrix or scaffold. This is important because the stem cells need something to cling to while they grow and multiply. You know, like how baby birds need a nest. Various materials have been used. Scaffolds should be easy to install, allow stem cells to cling to them, allow dispersal of nutrients and oxygen, and be biodegradable. The third element are growth factors. These are proteins with crazy names like FGF, TGF, PDGF, IGF, Wnt, Hedgehog, and so on. The fourth is removal of arthritic spurs. These are often the source of pain since they irritate the joint capsule. Removing these spurs using ultrasound and arthroscopy for guidance is helpful. The fifth is localization of the area of bare bone. With the worrying away of cartilage, there are always areas of bare bone. This is where the stem cells need to be guided to. Clearly, arthroscopic guidance is important for this step. The sixth is induction of injury. Induction of injury, creating a at least one hole in the bare bone so that stem cells know where to home in on is critical. By limiting, though, the extent of injury, it allows the patient to be back on their feet much sooner than with putting in a lot of holes uh, like that done with microfracture. So one hole is enough. Special instruments and arthroscopic guidance are critical to putting the cells, the matrix, and the growth factors into the site of injury. The seventh is team coordination. In sports, 
team coordination and preparation is critical. It's even more important when doing a medical procedure like stem cells. Eighth, the post-procedure regimen is important. Patients can't bear weight too quickly, but they shouldn't take weight completely off for an extended period of time either. The exact timing is critical and varies from patient to patient. Ninth, careful follow-up and specific directions to help a patient get back to the activity level they want is obviously important. Tenth, personal attention. There are centers that have multiple branches, sort of like fast food restaurants. We're not like that. We have one location. Our patients are not on an assembly line. Every patient we see gets our undivided attention. We study their case and spend a lot of time determining whether we can really make a difference. As a result, we often turn away people who we feel would not benefit from what we have to offer. Eleventh, reputation and experience. We have more than five years of experience and counting. We are one of the few centers in the world endorsed by Don Margolis and the Repair Stem Cells Institute. Twelfth, expertise. I'm a board certified rheumatologist and my center specializes in arthritis and musculoskeletal disease. That's it, that's all we do. My background includes training at the National Institutes of Health, the mecca of biomedical research. And I count as colleagues, experts in the field of stem cell biology at the National Institutes of Health and the University of Pittsburgh. These people are at the forefront of stem cell technology and we incorporate the latest developments in our approach to these procedures. So there, you have it. To the best of my knowledge, we are the only center in the world that uses the guided mesenchymal stem cell layering technique, our guided missile technique. This technique is not static. We're constantly tweaking it as new developments occur. So, if you appreciate personal attention and expertise, you can find more information on stem cell treatment for arthritis to help you make an informed decision by clicking on the button below. Thank you for watching.